Hi there, my name's James, and if you got the time, I got the games. Are you ready for this? We're going to do the side quests for Fun Shondi. Got a lot of stuff to get done in this video. Look, I have to prove to other me that I'm more than a party girl, so I came up with a list of things that are causing problems in the simulation. Sounds good. One thing I like about this is that in most of the side quests, for each individual character in this game, they kind of revolve around the personality of the person that you're doing them for. Like Ben King's, are a lot of fighting and a lot of, you know, street violence. When we did SIDS, it was a lot of using your telekinesis power. In the next video, when we do, I guess, present Shondis, hers are a little more diverse. It's like a little bit of everything. I found an overload point. That's what it's called, right? The racing thing? All right, we're going to start with this Blazon race. I don't think this one's too bad. There are definitely harder Blazon races in the game, especially the very last one that I think is going to be a side quest for Asha, which is a long time from now. The only thing that I think makes this one difficult is that since we're in downtown, there's so many cars and just debris flying all over the place that sometimes it's really hard to see where you're going. And a lot of these turns are so sharp that if you can't see where you're going, uh, you're, you could totally miss the turn. Hold on, wait. Let's hit this. Hit it. All right. Got it. Nice. Made it. Yes, I almost missed that turn. Uh, the best time that I've ever gotten in this race is a minute and five seconds left. I've never done better than that, so that's my goal. Come on, need to keep going. Yeah, we're right up towards the end, and it says 105 up top, up the wall. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, all right. Again, that's the best I've ever been able to do, and that actually went pretty well that time. Again, done a lot worse. But right after this, we're going to grab a UFO, grab a VTOL, and we're going to be flying around all over the place. And that's kind of, as much of that as we're going to be doing in this video, that's nothing compared to the next one. I'm not really sure how long this video is going to be, but if you clicked on this video, it's this is going to be a decent length video. But the next one we do for uh, present Shondi, I guess that's what I'm going to call her, is going to be way longer than this because hers are all over the place. What? Oh, right. There's a patrol that needs taken out. <laughs> and you know, I should have looked it up before this video. I don't know who does the voice of Shondi, but I think she did a really good job because the two different Shondis have complete different personalities and I think she totally pulled that off. But yeah, let's land this because we're gonna need it again. No point in having to summon it a second time. Alright, obviously a flashpoint here. What do we want to do? We've got a lot of challenges we've got to beat. Mind control is as good as anything else. Counting these kills? Five of ten. Okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I can't even see the guy. Oh, why wasn't it aiming at him? The thing is, is when you use mind control on somebody, they start glitching out. And your guns don't aim at them. You have to manually aim. I tagged one of those too. But that last Zen we were shooting at, he was shooting at us, so obviously he wasn't affected with the mind control. I'm not really sure what's up with that. That's kind of a trip. Now right now we only have three VTOLs. And this next rift, this is one of the speed rifts. 
the second one that we've done so far in the walkthrough, and if you thought the last one was hard, man. Either these are just really hard, or I'm just absolutely terrible at it. Uh, they're really not that hard to get the gold in, as long as you save your burst to break through the barricades. But, you know, I make YouTube videos, I'd like to make it not look like shit, if entirely possible. Alright, yeah, you totally gotta concentrate. And notice there's no music here. When we did the very first speed rift, I ended up having to make that video twice because apparently the music in the background is copyrighted. So, not taking the chance here. Hold on. Now, the third one, the third one of these. I think the main difference is, uh, granted the third one is much harder than this, it really is, but it's nowhere near as long. This one kind of drags out and goes on and on for a while. But I love the fact that these are so challenging, these are really difficult. before they turn back to red and they really slow you down when you trip over these and I'm probably gonna do that I've never one time gotten through this without tripping over a couple of those but again as long as you save your burst to break through the barricades getting the gold it isn't really that much of a problem but yeah, there we go. Break on through. Hold on. Did I hit that one or not? Yeah, like it matters. Keep going. Next time we hit the burst, we're going to blow this Zen out of here. No, oh, he didn't blow up. He just kind of <laughs> flipped upside down. Right, come on. You seem to understand this. Yeah, I understand it, but that doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Yeah, we're pretty close to gold. Yeah, right through. Awesome, there's still a lot of this left, though. We're not even close to being finished here. Shit. Succeed. background you can see that's the end but we're turning up here I believe this may work all right burst is ready hold on now Yeah, I can see the finish line from where we're going. Come on, we've already got the gold. I'm just trying really hard to not make this look terrible. Man! <sighs> Again, I really like these. 
I do. I like them a lot. I just this is one of the hardest activities in the whole game for me personally. They're harder than the TK Mayhems, harder than the Stomp Mayhems, in my opinion. But uh, next we should have a store hack. I think it's right that they gave Fun Shandy a couple store hacks because in Saints Row 2, uh, she did a little hacking before Kinsey came along. Whoa, There's an image as designed still under Zen control. Pop that shit open, but. Okay, this one. There's only a few of these hacks left, so obviously uh, they're going to be kind of screwy. They do everything they can think of to try to throw you. And hold on, no, wait, that's wrong. Go back. Here we go. Like you think you'd want to just go straight down to it. That doesn't work. You got to go up, then over, and then down. These can be kind of deceiving. But that right there should be it for the first side quest. A lot of those hacks, eventually you just start seeing them. They're so similar. Eventually you just start seeing the patterns. Hey, hey, check us out. Pretty good job on my part. Hey, you mind stopping by? Yeah, you did a really great job of just sitting there while we were running around doing all the work. Didn't the president complain about that to Kinsey? When we did all the hacks for her. Fair enough. And here we go. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. The gravity element for the stomp power. Obviously, that's another challenge that we're going to have to beat. But this one's real useful. Especially when you're surrounded by, you know, 10, 15, 20 attackers. So the second side quest is the solid, and you can see... Notice that it's way over to the far right side of the map. Once we're done with that, guess where we gotta go after that? All the way over to the far left side. These then are all up in my neighborhood. Can you take them out? And then when we're finished with that one, we're gonna have to jump back in the VTOL and come back over to this side of the map. There's just so much of this map left over because we still have, I think, four homies left to rescue and they all have their own set of side missions all right so what's going on here I am awesome okay we just unlocked the gravity stump so we might as well use it I thought we got four guys with that but apparently not and six of ten how do we only get six of ten okay eight that's more like it you can see clearly uh, we got more guys with the mind control than just one. And he's the last guy. Yeah, he's just over here glitching out. Alright, see ya. Beautiful. Alright, so let's grab our UFO. We've got a little ways to go. I'm going to grab the purple void. The same purple one, because I like this one. off this car it's really freaking me out can you get rid of it one thing I hadn't really thought about it until just now the two DLC packs that came for this game the story packs the how the Saints save Christmas and meet the dominatrix both of those when you beat them they unlock uh, more VTOLs like the Christmas one has two different Santa sleighs that one's pretty cool oh cool night to day transition but the one for Meet the Dominatrix, it's the F-69 VTOL, and maybe other than the Screaming Eagle, I think it's the coolest VTOL in the whole game. It's got this really wide wingspan, and it just looks badass. But 
this is going to be another vehicle theft and all right where are they oh, okay we got one right next to us very nice oh wait what was it why didn't he just bow duke right in there oh <laughs> well obviously we're not going to be using that one so we'll oh man this one's way down the street too that's going to make this a much longer drive oh come on work this time there it is and we'll just kidnap this guy while we're at it driving would be easier with my glasses where are they <laughs> you think so <laughs> yeah probably Oh, this car, the gunslinger. A lot of the vehicle thefts in this game are the cars that were created specifically for this game. Like we saw this car early when we were in 50s Steelport. This one was all over the place. And then there's the Peacemaker, the police car, which was a totally different police car in the last game. But that's another vehicle theft. And then that car, when you're doing the virus injections, when the Zen pull up and there's one sticking his head out of the roof and he's shooting at you and then three other guys pop out, that's going to be another one. Yeah, but this is an okay car. I probably won't use it in the walkthrough, but it's alright. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now we got to go all the way back. Let's grab the V12 again. Uh, when Shondi starts talking, read the subtitles when she's talking. I could use a place to get a touch up nearby. Can you crack that image as designed? Yeah, notice the subtitle says she could use a place to get new threads. I was wondering if when Volition was developing this game, if the next activity was supposed to be a planet Zen. And maybe that just slipped in right under the wire and nobody noticed it. Or, maybe they did notice it and they were just like, screw it, it's fine, just leave it that way. Because I wouldn't put that past Volition at all. <laughs> the developers from Volition are some serious party guys. And maybe they were just like, you know, this game is full of glitches intentionally anyway. So that wouldn't surprise me one bit. Yeah, this store hack, I think this one's kind of interesting. Because it's uh, really close to the end of the store hacks. And looking at it, you would think there's... You would have to find a way to get through the middle. You don't. You have to go all the way up top and then all the way across. It's, they did everything they could think of to try to throw you. That should be the end of the second side quest for Fun Shondi. All we got to do is go back and talk to her. Nice job cleaning up the place. I really appreciate it. I got one more thing when you have time. I almost slid right off the roof, too. Well, the reward for doing the second side quest is nowhere near as useful. But clearly, you got to do it in order to unlock the third buff element. You know What do you have in mind? Yeah, the fun Shondi suit. And obviously I didn't make the president a female character, but I might just use that costume anyway. Now, now that I think of it, I might use it in the next video. Just to piss off present Shondi. Okay, so Shondi's list. Not Schindler's list. And this will wrap it up, and that will give us the shrink element for the stomp power. Which is really cool. I think the gravity one is a little bit more useful. But in order to get 100% of the game, we have to beat the challenge. We got to do 10 squishes. Let's gear up with some guns, boss. Flip this friendly fire. Yeah, this one's a trip. This is the second 
to last hack that's in the game. And I'll show you right here. This one's pretty cut and dry. Like, for the most part, you just go right to it. And I think that was them doing it intentionally, because you would think it would be a lot harder than that. And, yeah, I don't think we're going to need a VTOL here. The next activity isn't too far away. Found a great place to hit the simulation where it hurts. It's right over here around the corner. Now, a lot of the act, the challenges that we're going to have to beat for this game, you have to do so many kills with different weapons. And I'm not really doing a whole lot of those right now. For one, there's two of them that we haven't even unlocked yet. Yeah, there it is. There's one challenge down. Oh, Kinsey's recording this. But the dubstep gun, for example, we need 250 kills with the dubstep gun in order to get 100%. Whoa, that's not the guy I was going for. And you can't even do superpower beatdown when they're glitching. That's a trip. But there's the singularity gun, the black hole gun, which we haven't unlocked yet, and that comes way later. You unlock that. When you do the side quest for Johnny, there's also the Inflato Ray. That one's for Pierce. We don't have that yet. You have to do so many kills with all these weapons. But this early in the game, we haven't had enough money to upgrade the weapons that we have. We have the Disintegrator. We have the Bounce Rifle. We have the Dubstep Gun. And there's no point in using those right now because they're so weak. So we really got to make some money. Oh, man. Yeah, right in the tailbone. Okay, yeah, first wave, take your time. This starts out really slow. Notice there's four waves here. Don't worry, everyone loses to me. And the first wave goes really slow, but now it should pick up. Every time I've done this one, it just gets crazier and crazier. Come on. Man, I saw you on the mini-map. Yep, get out of here. Man. And if you'll notice, the bullets. I have upgraded the bullets, so... <laughs> they electrify people when you shoot them. Yeah, run at me. Yeah. And then, no wait, back off, back to shit. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that we upgraded that. Anytime you freeze somebody and then do a shatter, everything explodes around them. Okay, yeah, we're getting shot at from the sky. Oh, man, that was in the kneecaps. Get it. Right, yeah. Oh, the car got him. Yeah, this isn't going to do anything to those ships. Yeah, those Zora ships are awesome. <laughs> yeah, unless they come crashing down right on top of you. And we still need 40 vehicles to destroy. What's this guy? Why is he even here in the middle of this huge gunfight? If you're walking down the street and all this is happening, are you just are you just gonna run right out into traffic? Well, that, yep, I see you. I'm just that good. Man, just exploded on impact. Pierce is in over here just minding his own business. Hold on, we gotta get this Sid Ball. That's another challenge we gotta beat. We gotta take out so many of those. Okay, 
I didn't even notice until right now. This skin that I picked for this video is kind of like a Mad Max Road Warrior costume with a Judge Dredd helmet. Oh man, why did that car explode? But we're also using the Robocop SMGs. We're just throwing Easter eggs all over the place. And yeah, he's gonna jump away. No, we got him! Cool! Oh man, that virus injection is huge. That's a big one. But again, we're gonna need the VTOL again. Remember when we used to grab cars off the road? Ah, good times. But I said earlier that a lot of these side quests have a lot to do with the personality of the character that you're doing them for. And Saints Row 2, Shondi, in Saints Row 2, the Saints weren't like international celebrities yet. They were still just a street gang. You know, stealing cars and blowing shit up and taking over territory. So there's a lot of that in this. So we've got another vehicle theft. Yeah, this one I was talking about earlier. Oh, this is a great car. This is the Zen car that they pull up in when you do virus injections. Let's clear some space. Now watch this thing move. Yeah, and it makes no sound at all. Oh, that's where our ship landed. Zenyak doesn't have a chance. Hold on, get out of the way. We got Zen on our ass. But yeah, this uh, obviously it's got really good speed, and it handles as good as any car in any of these games. <laughs> yep, and it just plows over mascots like a charm. You gotta love it. Yeah, great car. I might use this one in the walkthrough. Well, I could be mistaken. I think we've only got one more thing to do. Got a lead on a bunch of Zen hanging out doing nothing. Let's take them out. Yep, clear Zen troops. This one's just a flashpoint, and we are finished with this. Oh, not too bad. I'm looking at the clock. Uh, we did pretty good on time with this. The next video, I'm telling you. Whoa for present Shondi is gonna take a while. Her missions are just strewn out all over the place. It's gonna be a lot of flying around. Hold on, let's get some... let's get some height. Because the gateway's up here. Man, what a rush. That was great. Come by the ship and let me say thanks in person. In person, you're in a computer. Okay, very cool, we did it. Kick ass, boss. It was really cool hanging out with you again. And I helped fight back against the Zen. That's what we call a win win. Yeah, that was kick-ass, but now we've got the shrink element. We have all three elements for the stomp, the telekinesis, and the blast. So this early in the game, we're upgraded pretty good. Alright, let's get our rewards. Let's grab our money. I think we just worked our asses off for this money. And powers. These are all for stomp. Obviously, damage, yeah. That's going to be a huge help, and the other two... Gravity and shrink. Very nice. What we get for. Oh, wait, bonus XP. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to grab that. Because we're at 35 XP right now, and we're still really early in the game. There's a lot of the game left. 
So we'll do Shondi's side quest next. And I'm going to go ahead and end this here. My name is James. If you got the time, I got the games. Thank you guys so much for watching.